Hey, hi. Sorry, I uh, <clears throat> look a bit of a mess today. I was helping my mom outside. Anyway, um, recently I got to go to my friend's wedding reception. Exciting. And I did my nails for the occasion, as one does. I did this uh, thing. I had bought these uh, little jewels a while back, like a year or two back, <laughs> um, just for funsies. I had never done something like this before, put these little stickers on my nails. I've always done nail stuff just with like nail polish and they worked okay for the event, but like it's less than a week later and already a bunch of the stupid little fake jewels have kind of popped off, even though I went over them with a clear um, polish, like to protect them and keep them on. Didn't really work that great. But it was fun and all, it suited the purposes of the party and everything. But you know what it reminded me is that I used to do nail art, like a lot, about, what, like five or six years ago maybe, I used to do really complicated <laughs> nail art. Um, well, maybe not really complicated. I'm, it's still like amateur hour over here. I'm not some sort of pro or anything. And clearly I didn't use any accessories or anything like that. I would only use nail polish. But just for like, for fun, when I was going to see my friends, I had like, I did like Harry Potter nails. I did Glee themed nails. I did Kamen Rider themed nails. I did uh, classic literature themed nails once. I used to have a lot of fun doing nail art. Like, and I wonder when I stopped doing that. I feel like I should start doing that again. It was enjoyable. And you know, I just, I used to do a lot of art stuff that I don't really do anymore. I used to draw all the time, constantly. I would go through one year of college and fill up like four sketchbooks. And now I have gone like five years and maybe done the equivalent of like a quarter of a sketchbook. I don't know. I guess I entered the adult world and all my inspiration went away or something. I don't know. But anyway, you know, maybe it'd be fun to start doing nail art again. If you guys uh, have any suggestions of some sort of nail art you would want to see me do, uh, please suggest it to me in the comments. And you know what? I'll make a video showing myself doing it basically just using you guys as uh, art prompts here. <laughs> anyway, if you're at all impressed by those pictures I showed you earlier of the awesome art, nail art that I used to do, um, here's my secret, okay? Miggy nail art, uh, nail polish. I bought these like on a whim a number of years ago because, you know, some salesperson like came into my workplace and was selling it and I am just so weak when people like come up to me and ask me for money, I like don't know how to say no because <laughs> I feel rude. <laughs> but these actually worked out really well for the most part. I'm gonna, I haven't really done this kind of thing before, but I think I'm gonna like do like a review of this product here. So the way these work basically is that the cap of one of the bottles, right? You can um, unscrew it and it's a normal nail polish brush and everything but also if you just pop this top off you have this teeny tiny little uh squeezy tube here and you can sort of squeeze this bottle because it's soft it's not like hard glass like nail polish bottles usually are it's like a, a bendable a pliable plastic so you can squeeze it and squeeze out the polish through this tiny little tube and use it to make little details. Now, there are some downsides to this, obviously, like especially when it gets older, when the bottle gets more empty or when the polish gets older and it's more solid and it's not as liquidy anymore. It's like um, you can like kind of almost hurt your hand like you have to squeeze really hard to get it out and it's like your hand gets really tense and that actually makes it harder to control while you're trying to like also draw things while you're squeezing as tight as you can 
you have to keep this little tube cleaned out, which is really difficult. Like they give you a little wire that you can use to like clean it out. But I lost that pretty early on. <laughs> and then I was basically just SOL. So I had to just like try really hard to always be really meticulous with like making sure not to spill nail polish all over it or let it or anything like that. Always clean it before putting the cap back on, all that kind of stuff. I mean, you should do it with all your nail polish anyway. And then like you have to shake it really hard sometimes because maybe like, you know how with ketchup bottles and stuff like that sometimes like before you get the ketchup, like this weird clear stuff comes out, <laughs> you have to shake it up first. You don't want that stuff dunking all over your nails while you're trying to do some sort of intricate design. But overall, these are actually really great. And if anyone is thinking about wanting to try out some amateur like nail art stuff, I would actually super recommend this. Miggy nail art. Most of my uh, critiques are for things that started cropping up after I'd had these for a little while, so maybe you just have to use them fast. I don't know. Like, I've reached the point now where if I try to do nail art, I don't know how much I'll use these because some of them might be like almost empty or really old or something. Maybe I'll have to try to do the old, like, you know, use a toothpick kind of method. That's what I used to do when I was a kid to make little flowers and stuff. I don't know if I'll do this sticker thing again ever. I mean, I'll probably use up the stickers I already have, obviously, on various events and stuff. But like I said, they wear out really quickly. Like, you can see um, the whole sticker on, like, my ring finger, maybe, and my pinky. You know, you can see that it's missing on the other fingers. This hand is an even better indication. It's missing on all the fingers except the pinky. Anyway, sorry, that was kind of a random video. I know I was talking about something that hasn't even really been seen on this channel before, nail art. I don't think I've ever done it um, on this channel. I might have a little bit of it, like, in my intro, actually. So technically, it's been in almost every video. But uh, <laughs> I've never done a nail art video, I think. But I think I would like to change that. So seriously, though, if you have any suggestions or anything of one you want to see, uh, let me know. I'll... Uh, Use it as an excuse to paint my nails. <laughs> Alright, until next time, guys. Toodaloo!